Hi, my name is Laurent Rochon. I am one of the technical account manager um, at CodeFresh. And today I want to show you how to create a new pipeline on your new product, uh, CodeFresh software delivery platform based on Argo. So if you've tried to do that on Argo workflow, you may know it's not super easy to put all the pieces together. But with our new wizard, uh, it's super easy, and I'm, I'm going to show you that today. Uh, so I'm going to create basically a basic CI pipeline that clone a repo, build an image with Scanico, uh, enrich it with some of the, uh, the GitHub info, and then we're going to, uh, to execute it. So for that to work, the only thing you need is obviously uh, a CodeFresh uh, platform uh, and the runtime install on, um, on your cluster. So once you have that, you can go to the you know, delivery pipelines part of, uh, of the UI and um, click on the wizard. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a new pipeline. Let's call it demo four and I'm going to do a push. So let's give it that name. I'm going to use our um, worker um, workflow. So I'm going to push all the file I create into my default Git source for Argo CD to uh, pick and execute automatically. Um, so here's my, uh, my workflow template. Uh, so I'm going to give it a slightly different name to make it easy to find. So demo four. So that workflow template has a bunch of parameters that the system is going to help us uh, fill. So now I have my, um, my pipeline. So let's create the, basically the trigger uh, event and condition. So here let's add a new event. So my repo is that one. So that's where I have my source code. So for this demo, I'm just going to do uh, some event based on, on a push. I'm going to enter uh, some of the variable and some of those variables are going to be, um, you know, discrete values, and some of them are going to be uh, coming from the, the GitHub uh, payload associated with that uh, push. So instead of having to go and figure it out, you know, what is the path of all those uh, those information, I can basically just use those uh, little helper we've created for you uh, into our application to basically fill that automatically. Um, for you, if I pick the right one, it's better. So my repository, my image name is something I'm going to enter because I'm going to push to Quay. Uh, it's microservice. So for the image tag, I'm going to use uh, uh, the commit uh, SHA. Um, here I'm going to use the same for the parameter, the branch something is going to come from the payload. Uh, the commit URL, uh, same thing coming from there. We're going to use a message also from, uh, from the payload. The Docker file, I'm going to use the usual uh, default value of Docker file. To access GitHub, I have a secret already created. Uh, where is my Docker file? And to access uh, Quay, I have a couple of uh, secret as well. Um, to access it. And, uh, and in addition to that, now I can uh, filter uh, even more my, uh, my push. So in this case, we're going to filter on uh, the branch. So I want my pipeline to run only when I am on my uh, master branch. So apply. So now I have all my files. So now I'm going to commit them to my uh, to my Git repo. So push for demo. I'm pushing. So from there, Argo CD is going to you know discover the change into my my Git repo and automatically create a new pipeline. In the meantime, if we go to my to my Git repo, you can see. I have a new file, um, you know, created and, and one modified. So now if I go back to um, Codefresh, as you can see, my um, 
pipeline has been created. I can see the different files that are required to do that. So, you know, sensor or source, I have my pipeline as well as some, some other um, basically plugin I'm using. And you can see that into a very nice uh, view um, that's make it, I think, a little easier to see how the different pieces uh, work together. So if you were to do that by hand, you would have to create all of those three files, uh, you know, manually. So now we're going to execute. So I'm going to do just a push on my um, on the repo where I have my uh, my service. So let's do a push, and now I should have a workflow starting exactly as as we do. So that's it. My uh, my pipeline has been created. It just took um, a few minutes, and now we can uh, go and um, look at um, at the execution. So. That's basically it for today. I hope you can see how um, easy it is. Um, if you want to give it a try, basically head to codefresh.io. And if you don't have an account yet, you know, sign up for it. And you should be on your way in you know, the next half an hour to have your first pipeline. Thank you. <laughs>